Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to my home. Well, you know, I said something about having an announcement, and this is it. I was asked by Tina from Shabby Debbie Doodah to join her design team. So, here we are. You will find all of Tina's information in the description box below. And, um, what an honor. I mean, really, guys, I just was, I was speaking with Tina's sister, Natalie. She goes by uh, Shabby Dabby Tuda because she is her sis, Tina's sister. I just thought that was so cute. So anyway, she sent me at the beginning of, of the month um, quite a few gorgeous, gorgeous digitals, and um, I'm going to let you see what I created for Tina this month. I will be doing a design team project each month for Shabby Dabby Doodah, and um, this month I did a flip-flop journal with four signatures, and I also did a document folder. So I think let's begin with the flip-flop journal. And if you are interested in mail I have received for this month's giveaway, I will have that at the very end of the video. And I'm doing that for people that may be, uh, that are not interested or may be watching me for the first time that you don't have to sit through that. So getting started, look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, just stunning. When I received these digitals, my it took my breath away. They're so beautiful. And I used uh, some trim here from Angel Dream Crafts Kim, uh, this really, really beautiful sequin and floral netting. I just put a little bit of that on the front of this and then I added a locket and this locket does open up. It opens up from the bottom to the top and I have, for whatever reason, trouble opening this. Let me see. I don't know. Y'all know I'm cleaning my craft space and so it does open. I've had it open. Um, this was one of those found treasures. There we go. It just needs a little bit of help, but look at this. Um, I was thinking about putting some dried lavender buds in that, so this is going in my shop. I think that I will do that because I've got quite a few dried lavender buds. A lot of lavender in these digitals, and I just think that would be really beautiful, but I wanna warn you that if you go to open this, you're going to have lavender buds that are going to spill out. But yeah, I think it needs something. But isn't she so pretty? Look at that. So I just took a bulb pin and attached it to this um, purple seam binding ribbon. And um, that is the closure to this book. And then at the very bottom, then we have... Uh, beads that match the colors nicely. The bottom here has um, words. It's a charm with words like uh, free and true, kind, strong, happy, thank you, peace, brave. And then um, we just have a little uh, bobble here at the bottom, but really, really, really pretty. And this is the document journal, and I will show that in just a second. So this journal measures, if I go all the way to the top and not just the cover, because the cover is shorter. So if I go from the top to the bottom, it's a nine. And by about four and a half, maybe four and a quarter. So do you want to see the inside? Oh, it, it, I mean, this really is really, really pretty. And the way that I did that, it's got um, the bulb pin caught two pieces of the seam binding. So we're going to do it just like this. And might have to move this out of the way. Pumpkin, you can go over there. We'll put this there. 
So like I said, there are four signatures to this. So it is quite large. It is filled with um, antique book pages. And uh, we have a little paper clip up here with a bead at the top. So if you open this up, this is your first page, and here is a tag. Really just cute. The, this is Digitals from Tina. And um, seam binding, crinkled seam binding tie. And then I used a shell piece of lace and attached a... Pretty sure this is um, Tim Holtz. Not positive. It could be Prima, but I think... I'm not sure, but it is a metal heart. It, uh, the heart just calls out, I think, with the uh, digitals. Look at how gorgeous this digital is. So there is that. And this is one of the digitals. And I created a tag out of this. And I Nouveau glazed the wings of this butterfly. Hopefully you can see that. It is just pretty, pretty, pretty. And that, look at this. You see what I mean? Oh my goodness. It t these digitals take your breath away. They're so gorgeous. And there is a flower um, paper clip that holds that in place. Turn the page, and here is another tag. Look at this. Oh, again, seam binding ribbon crinkled. Isn't that so pretty? I am in love. Pink and green, you know, is just, I, it, it just, it, it's romantic. I've always loved pink and green. Pink, not my favorite color, but mix it with green and it's just soft and beautiful. Here is your first uh, vintage book page. I believe this is German. Not positive. I think it is. A, a piece of handmade paper here, and you can feel the fiber, so lots and lots of texture there. A music page, Come Rain or Come Shine. Isn't that pretty? Another vintage book page here. A dictionary book page. We were also given tickets uh, by, by Tina, and um, I just thought that it, it made a cute statement on this piece of uh, coffee dyed journal page. This uh, tag here is, is uh, one piece of, I want to say it's vellum. I'm not positive. I just thought it went really, really well in this book, and so I used it here. Crinkled seam binding ribbon. I did stitch around the edges of this, and that is the back of the tag. It has a metal eyelet, and it is attached onto another vintage book page. And then here we have it looks like I'm going to have to. Can I get away with this? Oh, I think I can. There's a heart paper clip. Here is some uh, washi tape. This is a digital page from the kit. Isn't that just so pretty? And then I put a vintage um, dictionary page on the inside, folded it in half so it sits nicely there. Let's see if I can do this. Fun, fun to play with. I, I, I'm excited to see what comes next. I'm going to have to be patient. Uh, journal page, and I did use some Prima washi tape. Beautiful, beautiful page here as well as here. A little bit more washi tape. This is also from the kit, as are these three tickets. And I back these on file folder, so they're pretty sturdy and easy, easy to write on the back if you want to do, to do a little bit of journaling on your tickets. This page, this is a, um, a tag that I had in my stash. I just thought it fit nicely to a special someone. The colors matched, and look at this. Oh, 
geez, just so soft and beautiful. And I added a butterfly to one of Tina's labels here and three more of her tickets. Isn't that pretty? Manhattan Day. Hey, Maggie. And two more tickets. Hey, Maggie. Okay, I'm going to stop just for a second, guys, and see if I've got some treats for her. Or she's going to be singing in the background here. So let me just put a little something-something in her bowl. So maybe she'll leave us alone. <laughs> I know y'all love Maggie. So then if you open this up, here is a beautiful um, little card from Tina's Digital. Isn't that pretty? And then on the back, another one of Tina's um, tickets. And then this opens up so you've got a little bit more journal space. And sits nicely right in there. More washi tape on this page and this page. More washi here. Another vintage book page and another one of the uh, digitals. And then I took the back. I did just a little bit of layering here. Vintage book page here. This was a scrap I had from the digitals and this is one of Tina's labels. Just thought that was really, really pretty. So that just sits right down in there like that. Here's the back side of this um, vintage book page. It is a poem from Othello, and here is a sticker. That sticker was mine. I found these stickers and thought, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at how they play off the colors. Really, really pretty. Uh, more Prima washi tape and a pretty, pretty butterfly. Vintage page. Some more music page. Some more of the um, handmade paper. And let me see if I look at this if I can tell. It may be Latin. I think it's German. Pretty sure, pretty sure that that is German. Okay, look at this page, guys. So, a heart paper clip. Oop, and I just took that down. So, if you open this up, look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful that is. Tina has so much talent. Look at that. Oh, it, it'll take your breath away. I tell you, you just want to look at it. Um, one of Tina's tickets and another one of her um, digitals and I made this so that this flips up so that you can you've got extra writing space and inside of here I used um, three more of her tickets so you have this uh, Southern Railway system so cute and then you've got these two tickets here Pickwick Theater and um, I think that's uh, a city in Germany, I think. Not positive, but it looks familiar. So I just place that in there and then I use this little heart paper clip to keep this closed, to keep that in place. And then of course, when you turn the page, you've got that beautiful, beautiful. And so here is another label, I Nouveau glazed on that butterfly. And then this opens up like this to reveal a little bit more journal space. And then I had this so that she sits just like that. I love the way that the colors match. This is a pocket then. It is the end of the first signature behind the cover. And I added this page. Not pretty. This is Tina's Digital. And then I had this in my stash. And look at the colors. I mean, they just look beautiful together. So I thought it needed to go. Then our second signature. Here we have this pretty violin lady playing. This is... Um, 
just an added bonus, look at how gorgeous this digital is. This is a graphic 45, but it is so feminine and just so nice. I thought it would go really, really well in this um, journal. So I made like a little fold over journal booklet and it's attached here with another heart paper clip. And on this page, we got fuzz. I gotta make sure that doesn't go on the candle. Look at this, guys. Isn't that just, it's just so romantic. Here is a butterfly on another one of the digitals. And this is, this was um, packing material. I didn't want to cover it up. I just thought it was so pretty. Just kind of matches so well. I wanted to leave it. And I think this opens up. It does. Got a little bit of um, washi tape there, and this just kind of opens up like a little booklet and closes with this little mini paper clip, just like that. And that sits on here and just fits in there. We've got a vintage book page here with washi. Uh, the back of this is a dictionary page, another sticker here on a vintage book page. And then I took some of Tina's, a Tina's sticker uh, ticket and put another butterfly on it. Just to bring the color out, there is a paper clip with another bead on the end. And then I did use some sticker here. And here is another one of those beautiful, beautiful tags from Tina. I put velvet at the top velvet ribbon and a little bead on a um, brass safety pin so you easily could write on there so that's held in place and then uh, we have a book page here another label I fussy cut out of Tina's music page vintage book page and another sticker and then two of these little mini tags from the digitals so so cute I'm gonna see these were sent to me so I am going to see if I can find them in Tina's shop and link them um, if you don't see them linked please be sure to go over to Tina's shop and have a look because uh, there is another flip-flop journal in my shop that is done in yellow tones with butterflies that is simply, it's just gorgeous. So you don't want to miss that. Then uh, vintage paper here. This paper has a fantastic feel to it. Almost like you can feel, it's almost like it's created from cotton is the only way I can describe it. Then we have another beautiful tag. Isn't that pretty? And I used a checked fabric. I just thought it looked gorgeous together. And this is a um, vintage magazine page. This holds on with a little paper clip, again with a bead at the top. A little, um, little mini digital of some of the larger digitals. This is a little mini version. Look at this, guys. Too pretty to cover up. I just could not bring myself to do that. Um, look at this. I couldn't put anything over this because I just thought, why would you want to cover this up? But you can write on it. You could absolutely journal on this magazine page and I did use a butterfly sticker um, on the end here the back side of that page and here is some more of that handmade paper I'm pretty sure I maybe I shouldn't say handmade it is vintage but it feels like it could be almost feels like parchment but it's not parchment again more stickers because why look at how pretty they match thought they were beautiful this is uh, some washi tape down here, another vintage sheet, and look at that. 
I just couldn't help myself. I could not tear this off of this. This is a time sheet, and I just love that. Love, love, love that. The back side, more music page. Lots to look at in this journal. Journal page, another sticker, border, book page, some more of the flower, uh, the floral border, um, dictionary, vintage dictionary page. This is vintage. You can see the patina at the top. It's so beautiful. Another sticker that I had. And then on this page, I decided I did use a white um, clothespin, and then I did take, this is what was on the front of the cover page, and I just took some laces that I thought would go really, really well with this journal, and I made a little uh, lace collection or snippet, and um, here is the inside page. So this sits right here on top, and this white clothespin holds it in place. And that's so pretty, just soft and beautiful. And this is the end of the second signature. So you see, this, this is quite large, um, this journal. Am I going to run out of space here? So here is my, this is the flip-flop part of the journal. Gorgeous, gorgeous page here. So this is your third signature. This is a signature that you don't want to be too big when you're creating these or your folds won't make it. Beautiful, calming, uh, digital to look at. You open this up and look at how beautiful. We have another one of the tags, and I put a sticker there, a journal page, and it is attached again with a beaded paper clip. There's another vintage page here, and this was the other half of that tag. This is not Tina's. This is kind of like, I want to call it vellum, but I'm just not convinced that it's vellum. I'm not sure what it is. And again, some washi tape. A beautiful green seam binding crinkled ribbon. Um, some more sticker here on this page. And then we have a page of ledger paper. There is a pocket at the bottom if you wanted to add something to that. Book page and another sticker. There's the center, another sticker, book page, here's your ledger paper, another um, butterfly trim at the end. Here is another vintage page. And this opens up to reveal just more absolute gorgeousness. So this then will fold like that. That is your third signature. And as you can see on there, I did use some um, handmade ribbon from Karen Billinger. And then if you flip this open, here is your fourth signature. We have another tag here, some more velvet ribbon with a safety pin and a bead. Beautiful, and look at this digital that matches. Absolutely, just in love. Flip that over, and how gorgeous is this? So we've got another tag. I did put a butterfly sticker, and then just look at the flowers on this. All this pink and red, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. I think this may be upside down, but you can't even tell. No, you can't. Doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, vintage book page. Here is uh, more stickers that line that coffee tie, tea dyed paper. Little bit of tissue here. Vintage page with a pocket. And in this pocket, because I had this piece of rice paper, I really wanted to use it. I thought it belonged in this book. And um, I went ahead and I put a graphic 45 because it was the Eiffel Tower. 
and here is a piece of um, tag or a tag that I had in my stash. The colors matched and um, I just thought you've got the keys here and then you had the keys on that one page right here and I just, yeah, I really, really wanted to be able to use this and think it, it's perfect for this journal. You can see the fibers to see that it is genuine rice paper. Another sticker, and then another, here is the history of England. What could be more perfect from, for this journal? Because Tina uh, is in the UK, so perfect, perfect. And a, uh, another sticker, vintage book page, little bit of music paper, and then you come to this gorgeousness. Look at that. There is the center. Once again, guys, I couldn't cover this up. It's just way too pretty, and this opens up to reveal. Look at that. Who could cover that up? I think writing would make this be even more beautiful than it is if this was all written in, but I couldn't. I didn't want to cover that up, guys, so I didn't. Another sticker. Another sticker down here, and this is the other side of that rice paper. Isn't that it's just stunning? Then we have another vintage page with um, sticker and washi tape, and then I did create a pocket out of this uh, Graphic 45 tag or I created a tag out of this Graphic 45 page. This is the other side of the tissue. Two more stickers. I used all my stickers in here of that particular theme. Vintage dictionary page, and then here, when I was going through my stash, I happened upon this envelope, and it was lavender, perfect for this. I put a butterfly on, and then I put some of uh, the leftover tickets that I had that uh, they sent me, and also I had some tags, Cherish, Dream, and so I put that all together, and that is what comes in this envelope so that you can have quite a bit of fun with that. And this opens up, and again, look at, there's no way. I just, I can't cover it. It's too beautiful. So what I did is I just tucked this little flap in like that and used this little beaded paper clip. Let's see if I can do it again. Yep, just like that. And then on this side, I used a just a little piece of scrap that I had left over uh, from Graphic 45. And here then is the inside of the cover. So you've got that lace. So this is my um, design team journal for Tina. And then I had some other papers I wanted to use, so I came up with this document journal. You saw this inside the journal. This is a piece of cardstock that I had, and then I've got a cute little envelope paper clip. And so what this does is this opens up this way. And we have pages that I had left over. Here are I think there's three pages, one, two, three, four pages that I had left over I wanted to include in here, and then um, I had pages, you saw this is in the journal, and then I had these pages, and I really wanted to use them. Oh, are they gorgeous? Let me take these out. Isn't this, I mean, it's just beautiful. This will all, this, both of these pieces will be in my shop and they will be, I'm, they're going as a set. I'm not listing them separately. This is one project that I created for Tina and so I am selling it as one. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these digitals. Absolutely gorgeous. 
And then this is the inside of the page that I used. So, um, uh, I want to thank uh, Tina and her sister because um, this was truly an honor to be able to receive these digitals and play with them. And I just, I can't wait for uh, next month to see what comes my way. Um, very, very inspirational. And I hope you love this as much as I did. And I do. So let me know in the comments, please. Let me have a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just let me know. Please be sure to reach out to Tina and send her some love. And I really appreciate you watching. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.